This is uh, Nerdle Patrol Training 101. The first thing you do when you're looking for these little plastic pellets that are washing up all over our beaches is that you want to go down to the water line. Look along there um, and if you don't see any, because this is all new water coming in, then you'll go up over here to the newest high tide line and this is what um, the newest we're saying within the last 24 hours this is where the water line has come up to and you'll look for plastic pellets along here and remember even zero is a data point so um, you'll walk along here sometimes you got to get down on your knees to see if there's any plastic pellets just kind of look like this and sometimes you'll um, be able to find them that way um, and I just randomly pulled up here so so I'm looking around now these plastic pellets look uh, a lot like sargasm bulbs or they look like fish eggs and stuff like that so here here's one here's one right here okay I don't know if you can see that or not but that's a little plastic new looking pellet that it washed up in the last 24 hours so that's what we're looking for now um, since I found one, I start my clock for 10 minutes, and I'll count along this high tide line for 10 minutes. Then I'll go to nerdlepatrol.org, uh, submit my data in there, and it automatically populates on a map. Now, say if I didn't find any in the new high tide line, well, I would move back up to the next high tide line, which a few days ago, here, I'm in Texas right here, and the water was all the way up to the sand dunes because, uh, you know, we've had really high tides lately or really high water level so what I would do is I would come up here and I would look so if, it, if we find um, nurdles down there on the new high tide line that gives us the information of new event coming up now the uh, advantage of coming down uh, up here to this tide line is it also gives us information on there are uh, pellets that are here that have washed up in the past um, and it also removes the pellets so that wildlife can't eat them. Like there's a laundry list of animals like birds, sea turtles, and fish that eat these things. So we want to be able to pick them up off the beach. Now, let's look around up here. Okay, so lots of times you got to get down uh, low. And here we go. Let me turn it around here. So uh, there's one and see it's, it's being covered up by sand. There's one there. Here's another one right here. So sometimes it's hard to see. Here's another one here. And remember, this is all um, this is all the highest tide line. These things float, so they're coming all the way up here. And so, you know, I would just go along, and after 10 minutes, after 10 minutes of collecting these, I would go to nerdlepatrol.org and submit my data. There's a map there. You can press uh, your finger on it if you're on your phone, or your mouse if you're on your computer. And um, when you submit your data, then you can go to the actual map that has all the data from all over the country and Mexico in there. And you can zoom in like a Google Earth type platform. Then you can print up your own maps. You can make your own presentations uh, about the, this problem and really spread the word um, that there is an issue. Uh, okay, so that's, that's how you do the Nurdle Patrol surveys. If y'all have any questions at all, feel free to uh, go to nerdlepatrol.org and uh, there's a link there to get a hold of me if you have any questions. Go to the Facebook page where people are posting daily all around the country of um, the nurdles that they're finding, um, the concentrations, and all kinds of cool stuff on there. Uh, even new news and things like that. So, okay, that concludes our training for today. Thanks. Bye.